Today I've got a delivery from Cult Pens that I thought I'd share with you. On the weekend um, I went to TK Maxx and I bought this um, little folio thing. Um, it's Flex by Filofax, first edition pocket size. I found it for £4 and I've wanted one like this for a while because I've got these nice little notebooks that I'm hoping to use as sketchbooks. I got these books in Tiger and they have quite nice, fairly thick, smooth ivory paper in them. But rather than carrying around a little book with me, I wanted to put them in something so that it was a bit sturdier. And this folio seemed like the perfect thing for that because you can, it's kind of like a, um, a file of axe a regular file of backs, it's the cover, but it doesn't have the rings. So instead you're able to put in your own books into the side pockets here. It already comes with a little jot pad here, which is plain paper as well, which is nice. So maybe I can do some sketches in there too, but I don't have to keep that in there, that could come out. It also has this movable um, pen holder, so I can have it there, I can have it there, I can have it there, I can have it there. But I think I'm going to stick to the right hand side. And in order to make, well it was nearly a perfect fit for this book, but in order to make it fit I had to cut a tiny bit from either edge of the back cover. You'll be able to see that here. See here? On both sides, what I did was I got my metal ruler, placed the ruler along here and cut using my um, little craft knife and it doesn't damage the book, it's simply a little slit, the spine's still full length and by doing that it just allowed me to nicely fit the cover into here. Well, it helps if I take that out first. So you can fit that in nicely and then I can just put my pen holder loop back in how I want it. So that was really nice, so I've got like a nice cover for that now and I can switch out books um, also I've got that nice little red book that I got in my Muji haul that can also fit in there, that could actually fit in at the same time on this side. But for now I'm just sticking with the one and the problem I had was I didn't have a pen that was short enough to fit in here. Well I have, I have got pens, I've got ballpoint pens that are short enough but obviously I want to use this as a sketchbook so I wanted to be able to put something, kind of a more special pen that I can use to ink in the uh, sketchbook. So what did I do? Of course I went on Cult Pens and I had a look on there to see if they had any shorter pens and they did, they had um, a really nice little fountain, well I say little, it's just it's shorter than a normal one. Um, a nice fountain pen and some interesting ink. So without further ado, let's have a look. The delivery um, cult pens always send really fast. I ordered this yesterday afternoon and it came this morning. So I'm really excited. I covered up my address there. Um, but I haven't opened it at all yet. So let's have a look and see this pen that I've bought. <gasps> Sweet. Yes. Oh, and I also, as well as the uh, the pen that I bought, um, they always have these sampler pens. So um, I bought two pens that were only 20p for uh, trying out. So this one is a Uniball Air in black. It doesn't say whether it's um, smudge proof ink or, or anything like that. This one that we had before was a broad one. Black broad. This one here. I was reading the wrong thing. I was reading that last time. This one here is. Micro. Ah, uh, focus. There we go. Micro. Ooh! Spray 
Tommy's pen. I haven't actually tried the Stedler fine liner pens. I've got the Stabilo ones, but I've got the Stedler and Love it. Three pens. Yay! It is a fountain pen from J. Can you see that? J. H. Herbin. Not sure how you pronounce it. It's French, so it's probably Urbain. But anyway. So this is a clear barreled fountain pen, so you can see the colour of the ink in there. If you, if you pull it, it's a nice short pen and you can put the lid on there to make it longer. So the moment of truth, does it fit in the pen loop? From the same brand come these fantastic, oh I love the little tins, come these fantastic ink cartridges. So they are different coloured cartridges so instead of using your regular black, blue, green and red, boring, you can have these really nice colours and what we have here we have, let's have a look. Focus. So, encre pour stylo et usage courante, lit de thé. So, um, it's kind of like a, a tea brown colour. Ink for pens and smooth usage, I think that means. Not sure. It's been a while since I uh, spoke French. So, I've got a nice brown shade there because I thought that would be good for sketching in my little sketchbook. And I also bought Grinoage Cloud Grey. So now the dilemma is which one do I use first? If I can remember correctly, the ink cartridges were about £2.95 per um, tin and the pen itself was £8.45 I think. I'm really curious about this grey, let's try the grey first. It and it kind of just helps it go in there. <gasps> wow, that is really subtle. I like it. It doesn't feel too thin and it doesn't feel too thick either. Now these transparent pens, they actually come in um, kind of like a ballpoint version as well, which I'm hoping to get um, when they come back into stock. They weren't in stock um, at Cult Pens when I made this order yesterday. So, um, and another thing you can do is put a converter cartridge in it. I'm hoping the one that I've bought from eBay will fit in it. The ballpoint pen version you can actually put cartridges in, that's why I'm saying that I'm getting a converter cartridge for it. And then hopefully I can use any of my inks, either my black drawing ink or my Winsor & Newton coloured inks. So I think all in all that is a success. So later on I switched out the ink for the brown, it's really nice for sketching with. I was using the YouTube channel Croaky Cafe to do some life drawing. Um, I did a few one minute sketches, a few two minute sketches and a few five minute sketches. I haven't done any life drawing for a long time, not since university, so this was really fun. Um, so I think I'll just leave you with this and hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you next time.